Nearly 2,000 were at Broadhall Way to watch Stevenage Borough push into the playoff zone with a convincing display against Halifax. Graham Wesley had outlined in his programme notes that this is a tight league and with little margin for error. But on this performance, Stevenage should build and consolidate on their fourth place. It was Halifax who kicked off wearing the blue and a good chance falling to them straight away. Dean Howe with the cross, Steve Bushell with the shot outside the area, but with no one far forward enough, they couldn't latch onto it and it was an easy claim for the Stevenage Borough keeper. Into the fifth minute and one of two bizarre incidents in this game. Keep your eye on the Stevenage Borough technical area. Boss Graham Wesley apparently goading one of the Halifax Town players as he came to the near touchline. Now the Halifax boss Chris Wilder didn't like this. He was livid, confronted his opposite number and had to be separated by the fourth official. Once things finally had calmed down, Stevenage Borough started playing football. A good chance here for George Boyd, the shot though saved by Dumbavin. Borough opened the scoring on the 19th minute. It all stemmed from a corner, the header across the face of goal and Qualey there to knock it in. 1-0. Twenty-eight minutes gone and cue bizarre incident number two, which really had a bearing on the whole game. Boyd tackled Ingram, who subsequently overreacted and stamped on the Stevenage Borough player. He got an instant red card. With all the players coming together, though, Boyd, Elding, Ryan, Sugden and Dumbavin were all cautioned, with the Halifax keeper lucky to stay on the pitch. So, once again, once things had calmed down, Stevenage Borough showed what a class act they can be. 35 minutes gone, and George Boyd with this shot. Ten men Halifax Town, though, came out fighting in the second half. With 58 minutes gone, they managed to equalise. The ball broke to Ryan Sugden, a delightful 1-2 with Colleen, and his shot going left of the keeper, 1-1. Stevenage came close to making the home and one-man advantage count. They threw everything at this free kick. Jason Goodliffe coming close with this header, a great save by the keeper. Finally, the breakthrough that they needed on 64 minutes as Stevenage got their second goal. Good work by Anthony Elding from the left wing. A good low driving shot, but a wicked deflection off Stoneman, which carried it past the keeper. Stevenage 2, Halifax 1. With 72 minutes gone, Richie Hanlon had the chance to make it three and seal the victory. Matt Hocking, though, with a brilliant delivery in. Hanlon's shot, though, saved by Dumbavin in the Halifax goal. Full marks to the Shaman, whose heads didn't drop and continued to look for the crucial equaliser. But despite plenty of possession, they just didn't make it count. Just a solitary shot on target in the dying few minutes. Not always pretty from the home side, but effective to say the least. As the final whistle went, Stevenage Borough 2, Halifax Town 1 and Borough in 4th place and looking good maybe for a playoff place. <laughs>